were you doing the other day? Um, Jane, yeah, I forget. What? What do you mean? Well, I was uh, trying to read someone's mind. Oh, oh, yeah. Ever tried to do that? No, no, I can't say I have. <laughs> That's what I was trying to do. Read someone's mind. Uh, but I couldn't, of course. It's it's pretty hard to do. Uh, whose mind would you try to read? Oh, a girl who waits on tables down at Maury. Beautiful wisp of a girl. Looked like she should have been in a library. Mousy, shy, with freckles. I could see her. I figured from the look of her that she was someone who had a lot on her mind. You know, full of quirky girl thoughts. That someone like me, just a beginner, could practice mind reading on. Were you able to do it? No, no. Uh, it didn't come off at all. It wasn't her fault. I, I just couldn't do it. Guess I'm not ready. As far as I could tell, her mind was a blank. Nothing. Nothing but a big blank. How did you tell her what you were trying to do? Oh, no, no, I wouldn't do that. Well, you have to be careful, because uh, actually mind reading is an invasion of privacy. Yeah, you're even though I've only had a few lessons, I know enough to know that the one thing you can't do is to tell someone. Why not? Oh, it'd be cheating. Mind readers just don't do that. They don't tell someone. Oh. Like I'm reading your mind. <laughs> Might as well say a penny for your thoughts. And forget about taking mind reading lessons. Could be I'm wasting my time. Who are you taking lessons from? Oh, uh, he's a guru. A guy over on Broadway. Charlie Zen, he moved into a storefront and put a sign in the window, free lessons. It was hand printed. Must have done it himself. That's all it said. Yeah, free lessons. <laughs> a little sign sitting on a rock, that's all there was. Oh, there was also one silk acetate sock next to it. That's what caught my eye. That's why I went in. I asked him about the rock. He said he found it on the beach. Did he say anything about the sock? No, not just about the rock where he found it, not the sock. I'll have to ask him about the sock next time I go. Silk acetate sock? What, what color? Oh, I think it was black with a little purple mixed in. I'll ask him. Uh, what is this, uh, Charlie? Zen, Charlie Zen. Yeah. What kind of lessons does he give? Well, he he talks funny, like in riddles. Sometimes, you know, I think he's high on something. He'll maybe say something like, uh, "An empty mind is Nirvana's workshop." I really don't know yet where he's coming from, and the lessons are free, so <laughs> <laughs> the price is right. Yeah. <laughs> Last lesson I took, he looks me in the eye stares at me like he's in a deep trance. Sounds spooky. And tells me the truth is right in front of you when your back is turned. In a kind of whispery, throaty way. In fact, I thought he was talking to someone who wasn't there. I, I turned around, of course. <laughs> there wasn't. It was just me. That is spooky. Nobody in back of me. How many lessons do you have to take? Well, seven. He, he said, if you don't get in Get it by seven, that's, there's no hope for heaven. A guru poet. I have three more and then I'll know. <laughs> then you'll know what? What, uh, well, maybe I'll know if I'm able to read minds. I'll be able to look at someone and say, I know what you're thinking. Uh, could you read my mind? <laughs> He's got a diploma on the wall. Mind reader, license, authorized to read minds. High glass parchment, too. Right behind him, framed framed in a gold frame. He is a fraud. Yeah. Some of the other guys, uh, you think a fraud? Yeah, I know. You're wasting your I time. I'm wasting my time. I'm reading your mind. The guy could be a fraud. He could be a fraud. Tell the truth. I'll tell you the truth. I have doubts about him too. You, to, you see, I can read your mind. But it's free. <laughs> it's fun to talk to. Yeah. It's the only girl who I know. <laughs> Who knows, next time I see a shy girl with all freckles, I'll be able to look right into her mind and see what's going on. She's worried. 
without asking a single question. I know, I can read her mind. Like a good mind reader should. She's worried. She's worried. She's worried about her She's worried about her freckles falling off her face. Falling off her face. And that can happen. And that can happen. She doesn't have a full she set. She doesn't have a full set. That's what she's That's thinking. what she's thinking. Next time you say her. Next time you say her.